Negotiation, like game, is an art and a science. The reason I know a lot of these pickup artists are frauds is because they try to make the game seem like it's science when it's a scientific art. If it was science and I told you, Mitchell, you walk into the girl, you say this, you say this, you look at her like this, and then you do this body language, <laughs> you're going to get the girl, right? They can give you all these guidelines, and if you do them perfectly, you're not going to win every time. It's not science. It's art. Some of these things may work on one woman and not work on another because there's an art involved. Negotiation, similarly, is a scientific art. I always like to start with this nowadays, which is the idea of what will stop me in being successful at fill in the blank, and it often goes back to fear. The reason I talk about fear, especially to men, is because we don't know how to deal with fear. We don't admit it, or we think we're fearless. Like, for example, if all of a sudden somebody's like, this is Fight Club, we're going to fight to the death in here. I'd be like, let's get it in. You know, I wouldn't be scared at all. Like, let's get this work in. But... Because it's not one of the things, <laughs> you know, it's not one of the <laughs> I always wanted to do this, man. <laughs> That's not one of the things that scares me. You know, we're all scared by different things. And sometimes we're scared we don't even consciously know we're scared because we have not properly self-examined. This quotation comes from Chris Voss. I put the book here because that's where it comes from. I don't actually recommend the book. The book oh. is I. Oh, okay. Yeah, the book is I. It could have been better written. Um, but it's a meaningful information. I'm going to give you a little taste of some of the concepts. You read the book? Yeah, yeah. It's good information in there. Indeed. Now, Chris Voss, top negotiator, FBI, all this good stuff. Now, he goes into Harvard, and he's going to meet with some of the Harvard experts in negotiation. They call him and say, hey, Hey, Chris, come on into the office. We want to have a word with you. He shows up to the office, sits down, and they say, Hey, by the way, this is a scenario. What would, you, what would you say if I just kidnapped your son? I said, Give me a million dollars. And then he says, I experience a flash of panic. But this is expected. Well, that's really strange because you negotiate with kidnappers, you know, Haitian kidnappers, Middle Eastern terrorists, scary guys. High stakes, life and death. This is just some old ass dude from Harvard pulled you into his office and gave you a fake scenario. Why would you panic? Seems strange, no? No, it's not strange, because human beings are scary little animals. And if you don't get control of your mind, it will behave like a scary little animal. And so he experienced panic, he acknowledged it, and he says, that is expected. I expect to experience some initial fear or nervousness or anxiety. I expect it. Expectation is like anticipation. And so he was able to anticipate it. He was able to calm down immediately, primarily because of practice. You see, practice will, be, ah, I'm back in my office. I do this. Just like boxing. You get in that boxing ring. Initially, you might be a little tight, but if you do it every day for the last three years, eventually you're going to be like, okay, I'm back in my office. I do this. Okay, I'm loose now. Let's get, let's get to work. Same thing with him. So I just thought it was worth noting that a guy who all he does is negotiate high stakes, extremely anxious situations where life and money is on the line, he was in a situation where no life and no money was on the line. He still got nervous. That's how life works. I want you to realize that and be able to anticipate this emotion and then deal with it effectively. This is what happened. Dig this, my dame is in Paris and she insists I stop by for a mere French kiss. Have no fear, dear. The Lear will have me near in an instance. But first, let me have one of my assistants text my mistress and tell her I have to go to the dentist. My to-do list is endless. Shopping for unique antique long wheelbase Benzis. Cape on, Bruce Wayne, James Bond image. A beautiful world today through these Cartier lenses. I live in a way where every day is Christmas. So I can't be around the poor anymore. Money is like astronauts. Astrophysics, they don't get it, and I hustle relentless, but I'm willing to take a break from this financial fitness to pull up on this gorgeous gymnast. I think I'll stop by for a visit. Exquisite canary diamonds as I'm flying. Canary islands on a one-way, fresh Easter.
her Sunday. Yes, I touched the runway. I'm blessed. She looks like she just left the runway. She wanna stay with me in this Disney fantasy and never go home like a runaway. I'll be up before the daylight. That's why I'm getting paid, right? I'll be all in. I'll be all in. I work hard and play hard until I hit.